Okay, so Dan Lebetard has Dana White on his show, and it was a bit of a contentious interview. And at some point in there, Lebetard challenges Dana to a fight. Dana not only accepts the fight on the spot, he says, I will put up a quarter million dollars to a charity of your choice. Now, this was spontaneous and this was banter. But the rules of the playground still apply. Lebetard does not have to fight Dana White. If Lebetard asks for the fight, he now has to fight Dana White or suffer embarrassment. If Dana says yes and then Lebetard says no to the fight, it is totally different than if a disinterested third party calls them both up and says, hey, let's get you guys together. It's going to be a charity event and let's have you guys fight. And Lebetard goes, hey, it's not what I do. Thanks, but no thanks. And uh, don't call me again. Totally different. He'd be fine to do that. When it's his idea, all the rules change. So once Dana says yes, they either have the match or Lebetard lives in shame forever. Once Dana says yes and puts up a quarter million to a charity of Lebetard's choice, that could build a hospital. That could fund a school for children. This is now a matter of, I'm, am I not willing to do something that was my own damn idea that I just got called on that could build a hospital or a school for the needy or the poor? It's a very real thing. Dana then goes back on another show and somebody asks about the story I just told you. Dana doubles down, says, absolutely, not only do I accept his challenge. I want that fight and I will put up a quarter million dollars to a charity of his choice. Now, I want to see that fight too. I'm willing to come on the back of what Dana White said and I'm willing to put up $500 of my own money also to that purse, also to the charity of his choice. And Lebetard, I would like to be part of this in many ways. I would like to be your corner man. You get three. You don't have to rely on me. But I would like a front row, unobstructed view to the beating of a lifetime. And Lebetard, if I could tell you in no uncertain terms, okay, there's a lot of things that are going to happen in the world before you get the jump on Uncle Dana. Charles Lindbergh's plane will land at LAX. Steve Carell will make a good movie. John Jones will drive sober. Tito Ortiz will emerge from bankruptcy. Bruce Buffer will use his inside voice all before you beat Dana.